Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to take a look at the Unity UT210E 100 amp AC DC mini clamp meter. Um, yes, this is yet another multimeter. I've got a fair collection of them. Didn't have a clamp meter though, so I thought let's get hold of one. Um, got this from eBay, cost me about 50 bucks. Um, it's made in China. Um, that said, the construction feels pretty sturdy. It's got a nice rubberized, uh, rubberized case on it. Meter clamp has a nice tight spring on it, which is good. Um, takes two pen light batteries, which we, uh, we've already installed there. And it has sockets for a set of leads that came with it. Uh, leads were nothing special, but they seem to do the job. So we're just going to take a quick look at, uh, at some of the measurements on this and um, see how it performs. So first up, we're just going to look. Uh, we can see it measures um, AC-DC bolts. It will do ohms, diode testing, capacitance testing, and continuity. We've got three current ranges, 2 amp, 20 amp, 100 amp. And it has a non-contact voltage detector right up here. And that's what this little nub right here on the end is for picking that. So you can put it up against wires and outlets and stuff and see if they're live. Um, got a select switch, which basically selects between AC and DC. Button to zero things. And it will do a data hold and it has a backlight. So I thought the first thing we do is we do a, just do a little voltage, check out the voltage range. Um, comes up defaulting in AC. We're going to switch that over to DC. And if we look on the meters back here, you can see my Fluke 27 FM is showing I've got five volts coming out of my power supply. And my Fluke 87 shows that my voltage reference is producing 2.049 volts. So we're just going to take those same leads Plug them in here, see what comes up. And we've got 2.05, so if we allow for rounding, that looks pretty spot on. Um, next, I'm gonna move to next voltage reference, which is 4.098 volts. This is showing me 4.1. Again, rounding, not bad. Plug that back into Fluke just to verify that. You can see 4.09. So voltage-wise, looks pretty good. No real complaints there. All right, now we're going to look at some quick current measurements. Uh, put this on 2 amp range. Set this for DC. It's going to zero it. So right now I'm testing, I've got 5 volts coming in to a 5.6 ohm resistor here. And if we look on the fluke, we can see it's showing 9.63 milliamps going through it. Let's make sure this is zeroed again. And so we're going to clamp the wire here and see what we come up with. And Unity says we've got 0.974 versus 0.96. Not too bad. Can't complain about that too much. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to put the voltage up a bit. Up at around six and a quarter volts. And if we look, we can see it's got 1196 millivolts versus, or sorry, milliamps versus 1.2 amps. So it's pretty much spot on. Can't complain too much about that either. So uh, not bad. 
pretty accurate. All right, we're just going to do a quick little look at some of the other uh, the other me measurements they can do. So we're going to come down here to the ohms capacitance diode mode, and if we look here, we can see that it is currently. Let's put the backlight on. Maybe that'll help us out here a little bit. There we go. So this is showing us it's in ohms. And right now, I'm testing on the fluke. I've got 10k resistor. You can see it's coming up 10.09. We'll hook up the unity here. It's coming up 10.08k. So again, pretty much spot on. Let's do one more resistor to take a look. This is an old 25. 100 ohm wire round resistor. Kind of telling me 2.48. Check it against the fluke. Two point four eight. Resistance looks pretty good. Let's do a quick, uh, quick capacitance check. This one here, go to capacitance. I just grabbed the capacitor from the parts box. This is 0 0.077 microfarad. Check out on the Unity. Put it in capacitance. All right, there we go, nanofarad. All right. Put that up. 76 nanofarad, which works out to the same thing. Right, well, it doesn't show microfarads, it only shows nanofarads, but same value, looks good. Finally, let's do a quick diode check. spot there. Do I have the right lead? May not. Here we go. Put it the right way. All right. This LED will make it glow. Forward voltage of uh, 1.772 volts. Check out the Unity. Check range 1.81. Okay, and we also do get some glowing from there. So, again, close enough, not too bad. I'd say it's a keeper. All right, so quick little run through. Um, not a bad little meter, like I said, well constructed, nice and sturdy. Uh, comes with a little pouch, comes with leads, instruction manual, um, not bad for 50 bucks, you could do far worse. Um, 
like I said, I got it mainly for the clamp. Um, so for the amount of light duty that I will give it, I think this is more than sufficient. Um, but it's also just a good all-around little handy meter. Nice and small, throw it in your bag, keep it on your bench. Um, yeah, go get one. All right, thanks for watching. Take it easy.